in this museum, we have birds. Uh, we have birds, of course, just flying in. We also have birds in the forest gallery. And for many people, this may be their first encounter uh, close to um, a tawny frogmouth, for example, or a bowerbird. And from that, a lifetime's fascination can, can grow. I'm honoured that Museum Victoria is able to help host BirdLife Australia in launching the state of Australia's birds, a report that reveals some startling conclusions about the decline in common bird species, the sort that we can all too easily take for granted. There is a soundscape to Australia which is produced by the remarkable birds which uh, we have and the huge variety of, of birds. This report should serve as a clarion call to all of us to identify what are the causes of the decline and set about trying to reverse them. Thanks very much to, uh, to Patrick and Museums Victoria, uh, to, uh, to Jared Early uh, representing BirdLife Australia, to all of the uh, conservationists uh, who are involved in protecting and maintaining Australia's amazing avian environment. We have an extraordinary array uh, of magnificent bird life and uh, my father was uh, a great conservationist and I remember being brought up and he would point out uh, the cockatoos and the lorikeets and the galahs. He would take me through the great Australian birds that uh, inhabited the Mornington Peninsula and, uh, and Western Port. And from there, uh, that built a, a lifelong belief and passion about this. But of course, there are real challenges. Our mammal decline is, is unacceptable. Uh, the threats, as outlined here in relation to uh, many of our birds, are not acceptable. And so what we are doing now on our watch and what I am doing is to draw a line in the sand. And with that, I am honoured and delighted to officially launch the State of Australia's Birds for 2015. The State of Australia's Birds was first produced in 2003, but the 2015 report marks the beginning of a new era in the series with the introduction of the groundbreaking Australian Bird Index. The index arises from rigorous scientific analysis of the vast collection of long-term data sets developed over the years by BirdLife Australia. The index is so important because, as um, both uh, Patrick and, and Greg have said, they're a powerful indicator of the health of the, of the natural environment. They're relatively easy to see, relatively easy to monitor, and they're sensitive to environmental change. Australian bird indices can provide regular quantitative measures of how healthy our environment is, as well as providing an early warning system for detecting changes. They can provide a basis for decision making, as, as Greg has just said, to show not only where biodiversity is currently struggling, but where effort should be made to ensure that good quality biodiversity is maintained. For example, while understandably most attention uh, in Australian bird conservation goes to our most endangered birds, the report shows that even common birds like kookaburras, magpies, willy wagtails are not doing so well in some regions of Australia. So you can see why BirdLife Australia is so proud to be releasing this report today. But ultimately, it comes directly from the efforts of our members and supporters. They are the real heroes, citizen science volunteers, women and men who dedicate their spare time, their weekends, their holidays to the important task of recording and monitoring bird data. Now, with the rigour of science, we can convert those thousands of records into a tool of immense importance for protecting our native birds and our national biodiversity.